everyone, welcome to Iggy's Cooking Show, or Cooking with Chef Iggy. Uh, I think it's actually called Cooking with Chef Iggy now. Is it the manager? Is it, is it Cooking with Chef Iggy now? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, so you might be noticing that I'm not in my normal cooking outfit. That's because my assistant manager put the outfit in the wash for an hour and 30 minutes instead of an hour. So he had to go on the air without me in my outfit. Assistant manager, why did you do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't fire me. Trust me, I'd fire you if I could, but I can't. You're the assistant manager. <sighs> now, Iggy, would you please get back to cooking? All right, fine. So, let's see what ingredients we'll need in this episode. As you can see by the title, today we're cooking pizza! So what you'll need? You'll need a, um, a tin of pizza crust. The one where you smack it on the table and it pops open. Some cheese. Pepperoni, if you want pepperoni, or any toppings you want. Some pizza sauce. Some corn oil, or oil that you can spray on your pan. And you also need a pan. So, let's see how we cook it, shall we? First of all, make sure your oven is empty. We'll need that later. So, turn on your oven, bake, and set it to 400 degrees. And then press start. Your pan and cooking oil. Shake it up. And then cover the pan in the oil so, so it doesn't stick. Take your roll of dough and pop it to open it. Let's go over to the station where we pop it, shall we? Hit it against a hard surface to pop it open. Now, you're gonna spread it on your cookie sheet, making it the desired thickness or how many that you have your dough spread out on the um, tray or whatever it is. I forgot. Um, make sure it's all even on all sides and push down equally, like that. Now get your pizza sauce, and then you want to start spreading it on the pizza. Put, a butt, put some in the center, so then you can spread it around. Don't get it too close to the edges, so. though. Keep spreading it all around until it's covered. Make sure to keep it away from you. your sauce. All spread on your pizza. Get your cheese and start sprinkling it all on your pizza. All over. Mmm, doesn't that look good? So, you want to get a lot because the cheese is melt because it's going to melt in the oven. So, remember that. Always make sure to wash your hands before you can't eat. I always do. Alright, let's see then. Alright, now get your pizza and put it in the oven. So because we're using the classic crust, we want to have it in there for around 14 to 18 minutes. So get your timer. I'm going to set to 14 minutes just to be safe. Or you can just wait and watch it. Wait until it bakes golden brown. Doesn't that pizza look good? While we wait, wait for the pizza to bake, let's see it. Let's see a commercial, shall we? Now, just to let you know, we're not sponsored by this commercial. We just wanted to show you because we thought the product is amazing, and we thought to share it with you guys. Again, we're not sponsored by the commercial. All right, roll the commercial. Now, when you buy Sonic Mania Collector's Edition, you get the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition statue absolutely free. Alone on a Friday night? No problem. Sonic Mania Collector's Edition handles stubborn stains. It even comes with a gold ring for that special someone in your life. She said yes. Congrats, you two. But wait, it comes with a game, too. 
To get Sonic Mania, just log on to the World Wide Web, download, and play. Sonic Mania Collector's Edition easily holds any tackle box. Made from a space-age polymer cardboard for years of family fun. Sonic Mania is humanely raised, free-range, and organic. And chefs love it, too. Mmm, look at that sizzle. Buy the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition for the ultimate celebration of past and future. Sonic Mania Collector's Edition, available now for a limited time only, and canceled separately. Hey, I hope you like that commercial. Oh, would you look at that? Our pizza's done. Let's see what we do next. Get your pizza out of the oven. Make sure you have your glove on. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Now, close the oven up. And then, turn your oven off. Alright, now let's wait for it to cool and serve it to our special little extra touch. Get a magic wand and sprinkle some magic on your pizza to make it taste better. Alright, now that's all cooled down, let's serve it to our special okay. pizza, Mr. Cypher. Huh, thanks, kid. I haven't had human pizza in I can't remember how long. I don't really like it that much, but eh, I'll have a taste. This pe human pizza is pretty good. In fact, it's the best human pizza I've ever tasted. I'm not a human, I'm a Koopa. Oh, this is the best Koopa pizza I've ever tasted. I'd rate it five out of five stars. Kid, kid, you're amazing. I think here I'm gonna make you my intergalactic chef. I, I would love to accept, but I can't. I have a cooking show every Friday to do. So, as much as I want to accept, I can't. I have a regular scheduled cooking show every Friday. Uh, that's too bad, kid. Well, see you in the multiverse. Goodbye. Well, that was nice. Him? All right, everyone. Thank you for watching Cooking with Chef Iggy. Roll the credits. Hey there, everyone. Chef Iggy here. Thanks for watching this episode of Cooking with Chef Iggy. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. So, also, don't forget to check out my friend's cha friend's channel, Jumper Beast Twenty Three, and don't forget to check out his cooking show, Cooking with Chef Bubblesword. See you in the next video. Goodbye.